Hem and Hide Tops here. Uh, my fingers are blue because I just dyed my hair last night. It is blue. I know it looks black in the viewfinder. It is, in fact, blue. Um, it's raven blue. It was supposed to be, like, a royal blue or a TARDIS blue. Yeah. I haven't made videos in a while. But I've been wanting to get back into it. And I'm not going to talk about why I stopped, or at least not in this video. I want to make a video entirely to that self. But something happened last night, and I felt like I had a good story and some good advice for this subject. And basically what happened last night was a girl and one of her friends came to the mall and the story work in there's a bunch of benches outside of it because we're in like a courtyard because of the way the mall is set up we're on like the edge of a courtyard and one of the girls was crying and basically she was sob yelling <laughs> sorry it's not funny it kind of is funny actually um but she from the gist of it what i got is that Apparently she's not friends with somebody anymore and it's very abruptly happened and apparently they have been friends for a really long time and she could not figure out how that happened, right? And my story is kind of similar and I have some good advice for it. So just a little bit of backstory before I get into like the actual why we stopped being friends with this like group of people I was friends with this group of people from like two of them from fifth grade up to the end of our freshman year right and the end of my freshman year is where or beginning of my sophomore year really is where this happened but it's like the, the that like two month period over summer is where I like started realizing it Anyways, I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, and then the rest of them, there were four others. There was like a total of seven of us in this little group. And we were like, ride or die, or that's at least what I felt like up until like the very end. And so four or five years, close to six almost. And these people were people I thought were really really good friends of me of mine like I thought they were my best friends like it was ride or die right so come eighth grade I get more friends outside of this friend group because I finally figured out how to fucking do that um yeah making friends is not easy and it's not a skill that you, they it's a skill they try to teach you in school right by making you do group projects right that's why they make you do group projects is to make you like learn social skills right but I hated them because I didn't have any social skills it's a, it's a thing um anyways so I ended up having three major groups of friends that were all like different so I had this core group of friends which were not actually my friends at all I ended up with people who were actually really good friends to have and I was really lucky to have them but I didn't realize it until it was almost too late and then I had like my druggy friends I never did drugs in school I don't do drugs now I wasn't about doing that like I did dare and my mom had lung cancer so like mmm not I wasn't going down that rule I was like basically the DD but you know instead of driving I make sure that none of them died <laughs> yeah right but they were really good friends too to have so this th that's the backstory of this this is this core group of friends and I had been together for a really long time so freshman year comes around, we, there are two different lunch periods, right, and our group got divided. So because, you know, it's a new school, we added people in, 
right? We eat in the stairwell because we can. And about halfway through freshman year, I was having a really, really hard time. And I tried asking them for help because they had the same teachers, just different periods, and they were learning the same things, right? But none of them helped me. I got more help in my schoolwork from my druggy friends than I did them, who were supposed to be my best friends. And that's when I realized, oh, maybe they just don't care about me in my schoolwork. Right? It was like, yeah, I get schoolwork is like an individual thing. I tried to justify it, but somewhere in my brain it irked me and it pissed me the fuck off. Right? Go forward two more months. Uh, this high school I went to, my first high school, had this 25 minute period in between second and third period where it was like a mandatory study hall if you were failing a class like a D or an F. And basically because I didn't have a printer, I was failing my health class because she wanted us to print out health articles and do like weekly essays on them. And I was like, okay, no problem. I was finding the articles. I was putting them into a Word document. And then I was like doing the essays, right? But I had like, you could not get into the library during this period because the computers would fill up like the moment the bell rang and I none of the other computer labs were open during this 25 minute period of time which I'm happy they changed the next year because I was actually able to keep up with that right and at the beginning of class every single time that these were due I was like I can't I don't have a way to print it right she's like well why don't you go to the library I'm like I try I literally cannot get in there to print and she, like, knew that the library filled up fast, so she was just purposely doing this. Anyways, that's just my little tangent for this, right? I go, one of my friends had a printer, right? I go, hey, can I print off all the things I'm missing and all the things I need for this class? Because there were, we were only supposed to do ten of them. I was missing five of them, which is basically half the grade, right? And I had the five others done. I was like, hey, can I come and print these? Like, I'll give you, like, $10 to cover the ink, right? And he basically said, no, it's your own classwork. Do it yourself. Yeah, and then that's when I learned the public library lets you print for, like, 10 cents a sheet. Yeah. <sighs> right? And then that's when I realized, oh, it's not even about schoolwork. He didn't even want me to come over, right? Because I was like, hey, can I come over? We can hang out. Can I use your printer? Right? And I was like, I'll even play a couple games of Magic with you. I honestly hate Magic the Gathering. Sorry, John. I know you watch my videos. Magic the Gathering does not hold my attention. It just, it's too long on one person's turn. Um, yeah. Right? And that is when... I started to really, really look at my friendships with the people who were in this group. And I real and I kind of started distancing myself from them. And basically, other than this one girl who spent the night basically every single weekend, even though I didn't want her to, but I was too nice to tell her I didn't want her to, which is another thing that I regret which I'll get into that too, right? Other than being in class and having lunch with these people and riding the bus home and walking like halfway home with like two of these people, I just stopped. Like I stopped Facebook messaging 24 seven. I stopped picking up my phone. I just stopped hanging out with these people other than like being in school, right? Uh, middle of second semester, I have a mental breakdown and that's when I realize I am super fucking depressed right I turn to the one girl who is spending the night basically every weekend and she basically tells me oh it's okay to be depressed and I'm like okay now I understand what she means by that it is okay to be depressed right 
but she wasn't giving me any ways to not be depressed. She was basically telling me it was okay to feel like killing myself. Right? But, like, you know, 15-year-old me didn't really understand that. Okay, so then we come to the end of freshman year. And I'm basically not talking to any of these people. I haven't had sleepovers with any of the other girls. Except for this one who, for some fucking reason, invited herself over almost every single weekend. I, like, her house was fine. Like, her brother was a little crazy, right? But that's a family, right? There was no reason for her to come over every weekend, right? So, then we move into June, which is the last month of that school year. So, we start studying for finals and taking tests and everything, and everything's fine, everything feels okay, right? Like, I'm still like, I stopped telling these people personal things because I was like, I really don't want to be friends with you. You guys aren't good friends. They weren't supportive. Every time I came up with something I wanted to do or something I showed them or if I got a good grade, they weren't supportive. But if they showed me something, I was 100% supportive. Like, you go, you do you, you do you boo. Like, all of that. And it wasn't the same back. Right? So, I start my YouTube channel. And I feel happy with it. It's the first time that I don't feel super fucking depressed. It is something that I actually like doing. Right? So, we move into about a week after school finishes for the year. This girl is spending the night for some reason. And she wants to film a video with me. Because I am a planner, I came up with seven different videos to do with my friends. Because... I knew at one point once people found out that I was making YouTube videos, even if I didn't have like a big volume, they were going to want to be in my videos. So I came up with like two person videos and I read her off all of my ideas and she goes, I don't really like any of those. Just do what you had a plan for this week anyways and I'll just sit there. And I was like, well, I was going to do a Q&A because it's like my third or fourth video so I wanted to do like a get to know you Q&A thing, like one of those 50 facts about me. And I go, well, do you want to read the questions? And she's like, no, that doesn't sound fun. And I go, well, we can do something else. I can fil to film tomorrow after you go home. And she goes, no, you can do it now. And I'm like, okay, maybe she really is my friend because apparently she's being supportive for this, right? But if you watch that video, that is the third take of that video. Like the start of that video is the third freaking take, third or fourth actually. And she's messing around with the settings on, like, the laptop. Because I started filming on my, like, laptop webcam thing. Right? She's not being helpful. Every question I ask, every answer I give, she smirks or snorts at or, like, she she's nudging me with her elbow. And that's when I realized she wasn't being supportive. She was actually making fun of me. And that's when I got upset, and that's when I stopped having her over. That's when I got the courage to go, no, I really don't want you to spend the night tonight. No, oh, I'm doing this, or I'm going to do that, or no, I actually have things to do. Um, that's when I started figuring out really good excuses to get out of hanging out with people. I can make an entire video on excuses to not hang out with people, right? So... Basically, she spends four or five times during this, like, two-month period when before she was spending basically every weekend, right? So, I become the beginning of the school year. She spends the night one more time. My dad and I really like veggie, las not lasagna, spaghetti, and... She hates basically every vegetable. So my dad dices them up really, really finely, almost like powder, right? 
mixes them into the sauce and it's really thick sauce so that should have like cued her in and we eat right two weeks later she goes yeah what was in that sauce and i go oh you know vegetables like celery carrots mushrooms and she gets so fucking pissed because she fucking hates mushrooms no reason like if i had never told her that there were mushrooms in it she wouldn't have known right and that was the downfall of our relationship because I just, I hated her. Like, everything I did, everything I liked, she tore down, she made fun of. And it became really apparent to me. Like, uh, it went from me, re like, thinking it was just friendship teasing to being like, she's a bully. She's bullying me. And I stopped being friends with these people. It falls apart. Basically, basically... This one girl had such a bad time with it because she, I was like, be friends with who you want to be friends with. And the other girl was like, you have to be my friend now or else. And it, this one girl just became really nasty about it. This was not the main girl that I'm talking about. It was another girl. I know that's a little confusing. And it basically, I started right after that, I got my very first like serious boyfriend and I started hanging out with his friends and they were three times better like I was very cautious about how much I let them know about me and stuff right I let it like gradually come out right and they were a hundred times more supportive in the like 15 months I was friends with them than like anything like any other friends I have ever had like more supportive than my family even so basically this is the bottom line of it your friends may not be good for you and you may not be good for your friends there is a difference between friends and friends right they may be people that you get along with and that you have things in common with and that you're able to hold a conversation with, but they may not always want what's best for you. And sometimes you have to take yourself out of that and look at it as a big picture and see if they are taking care of you emotionally, right? Because if emotionally you feel super good and proud about yourself around them, then they are really your friends. They are supportive and they like you. But if like even a little bit you feel like wow I feel really shitty when it comes to this person about all these different topics then they're not really your friends so my like serious advice is take yourself out of it and look at it from a third person perspective right and do what is best for you in this situation if it is doing what I did in the beginning where you just distance yourself from them and only hang out with them for like school and the bus and lunchtime, then do it. If it means that you need to like straight up cut them off out of your life, do it. And if it means that you need to like tell them how you feel and try and fix it, do it. Because I tried to do that a couple times and they basically would just laugh it off going, oh, we're just teasing you. Oh, everything's fine. And it became to the point where, no, I didn't feel like I was just getting like friendly teased. It was bullying. So basically, that's really it. Um, I don't know how to end this video. I really don't. Oh. Huh. All right. I will maybe be back again in not a year, in hopefully a week. Hopefully, <laughs> I promise I'm not gonna take a 15 month hiatus again. Right. Uh, yeah.